Hi there, and welcome back. My name's Simon, and in this video, me and my son Tom are out for a an overnight trip, an overnight camp. Uh, we're going to be camping bush style, bushcraft style, um, in my Polish Lavu, which you may have seen in one of my previous videos. I did a video on all about the Lavu, um, so we're going to be we're going to be camping in there tonight, and we are going to be cooking uh, some nice food later on we're going to try and do a roast roast uh, lamb with roast potatoes and cabbage and gravy that's my my son's idea he wants to do a roast on the campfire so that's what we're going to try and do and uh, yeah we're hoping just to have a nice relaxing evening so we're going to get ourselves set up in a second the uh, horse flies are out in full force again um, but yeah, we're going to go and get some get some firewood in a minute. Um, get a fire ready. Um, get ourselves organised and uh, get set up for the evening. So we're really lucky in that there's loads of uh, dead standing wood around here in this little bit of woodland, loads of it. Do you reckon? It's really, really comfortable. Is it? Yeah. It's quite comfy actually, isn't it? Yeah. 
Be all right. Have a fire here. Yeah. 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 So we're going to get a fire lit shortly, um, and we're going to have a, a cup of tea, and then we're going to think about getting some dinner on the go. Now, the plan is to cook a roast dinner, as I mentioned earlier. We are going to cook a joint of lamb, lamb shoulder, um, and some roast potatoes, which should be really nice. You might be wondering how we're going to do roast lamb and potatoes on an open fire. Well, I'll show you. Tom doesn't know about this. This is Tom's rucksack, which he's had to carry up here from the car. And unbeknown to him, in the top of his rucksack, is another bag. And also unbeknown to him, inside that other bag, I bought something to cook in. Now, Tom has carried this all the way up from the car without even knowing, which was a bit cruel of me, but hidden away in the top of his rucksack is a cast iron Dutch oven. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be cooking in this lightweight camping, lightweight backpacking cast iron but I didn't have to carry it so it's fine <laughs> oh there you go you got it have I yeah yes can I keep you got have it have you filmed it dad it's filming mate straight, straight in the middle there should I throw it yeah no don't throw it just just lower it down you'll be fine you'll be fine you're not going to start, suddenly burst into flames well done Tom thank you good job Okay, right, I moved the seat. Uh, we had it set up over the other side there and then the wind changed direction and we were sitting in it just getting smoke in our eyes, so we've moved it over here. And it's handy because we're gonna use it as a little platform to, to do our pre preparation work on. It's our workbench now. Right, Tom, chopping board please. Here you go. Thank you. I'll give you the prize one back. Right, we're gonna start by doing the potatoes. Um, I'm going to parboil them. Uh, Hard boil. Par, par, parboil. Par, uh, par, par boil them. Boil them a little bit. There you go, have some meat. Thanks. And some bacon. And some breakfast. Thanks. <laughs> so we've got some potatoes. <laughs> Three of. <laughs> You're as rude as you are. Three potatoes. Got to peel them. And. Um, Chop them into roast potato size bits, really. Okay, the potatoes have nearly had their 15 minutes, um, so we're going to get the meat on to cook. We've got uh, lamb, a shoulder of lamb, um, so we're going to get that in the Dutch oven um, over some fairly high heat to begin with just to brown it off and then we're gonna move it to one side I'm gonna lay some of the um, some of the larger bits of wood out just next to the fire and lay the Dutch oven on there and then we can pile some coals onto the lid and then it should shouldn't get shouldn't be too hot that the potatoes burn that's the theory so I've got a little bit of oil I'll put a bit more in later on when the potatoes go in thanks Tom you're welcome here we go, nice shoulder of 
lamb. Should be lovely. So I'm just going to coat it in oil in the Dutch oven. And, um, and we'll get that on. So I've just moved the Dutch oven over a little bit, um, so it's off the main fire. I'm going to build the fire back up at the back there, so we've got it for, for cooking and water, boiling water and things. But this I just I don't want over too great a heat now. Okay, I want to I want to keep it a bit cooking a bit more calmly. So it's just sitting on some coals. I'm going to put the potatoes in, which have had their time, and I've just given them a shake so they fluffed up a bit on the outside edges. I'm going to get a bit more oil in there, make sure the potatoes are covered, and um, I'll put the lid on. Load some more coals on the top, so it's getting even amount of heat from the bottom and the top. Well, it won't be even, there'll be a bit more from the bottom, but there will be some heat from the top, and then that's when it starts to work like an oven. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, they should roast nicely. Why are you doing that, Dad? Well, by doing this, you get you get heat on the top as well. That's that's how it works. That's how a Dutch oven works. Right, the lamb is very nearly done. I've just checked on it, it's looking really good. Potatoes are looking really good. Um, we're gonna have cabbage and we're gonna have a gravy with this. So I'm going to uh, cook the cabbage up on the other side of the fire. Um, I've set a, um, a grate up so that I can just put my, my billy with the cabbage in, let that boil. In my billy, I've got the water that I boiled the potato in, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not wasting, uh, wasting any of the water. We've only brought so much with us. We only brought about six liters with us, so we're Trying to be careful not to not to waste any. Like cabbage, Tom? Yeah. My favourite vegetable. Your favourite vegetable? Well. It's my lucky just, day. Just as well I brought it with us then, eh? Yeah, eh? I was going to bring peas. Ugh. <laughs> All right, the cabbage is done. I'm just going to strain the water into here because I'm going to use that to make some gravy. So in here I've just got Fisto instant gravy powder, no messing around. I don't even know how much to add. I'm just going to keep adding it and mixing it until we've got the right sort of consistency, I think. Woo, it's hot by that fire. Oh, there we go, look at that.
Right, I know it looks a little bit uneven here, my plate, Tom's plate, but um, you know, I had to carry the Dutch oven in, so I'm gonna have the most of the biggest portion. That is just falling away from the bone, that is. Right, roast potato. Two, please. Two? Yeah. Thank well, you. I'll tell you what, I have one, because otherwise you're not going to have any room for your cabbage. Seconds. We'll definitely have seconds, mate. Scoop full of cabbage. Is that one? No more, please. You are very welcome. Would you mind if I sit on this so I can put this on this? Because this is too hot. You want to put it down? You want to sit it like you're sitting at the table? No. Oh, right, so yeah, yeah. So I don't get too hot. That's a good idea. I mean, you do the same thing to you. Mm. These roast potatoes are really good. Well done, Dad. These are as good as home ones. Better, Dad. Mm. We get to. <laughs> What's so funny about that? <laughs> well, at least now you have a fork and a spoon. A short. I've only spoon. got a spoon. You've got two bits of cutlery. I've only got one. That is so good. I know the cabbage really good as well. Thanks for carrying that Dutch oven. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so we've had our dinner, very nice, and uh, done the washing up, done all the other housekeeping duties, and um, yeah, just sitting and relaxing by the fire now. It's lovely. Tom's gone for a lie down. Um, so he's all comfy in there. He's brought some bits with him to do. So um, just to keep him a bit entertained. Now, uh, unfortunately, during dinner, Tom broke his spork. <laughs> so um, I feel a bit bad because I didn't bring anything else for him to eat his breakfast with. And he struggled to eat his, his dinner with, a, with half a spork. So I think what I'm going to do, I did bring um, my whittling kit with me so I might go and find a, a piece of wood in a minute and see if I can make Tom a spoon so at least he can eat his porridge in the morning. So there we go. I'm going to sand it up now. It's not that pretty, but it will serve a purpose.
So um, we're losing the light pretty quickly now. It's nearly 10 o'clock. Um, I'm getting pretty tired anyway, so I'm going to make a hot chocolate and then I'm going to turn in. It's been a lovely day or a lovely afternoon. Uh, we've had some had some nice food and uh, spent some nice nice time with my with my son. It's been some good quality time. Um, yeah, but time for bed now. So I will uh, I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Morning. It's about six o'clock. Um, I've been awake since just before five when the dawn chorus started. It was so loud. The birds were making a real racket. But uh, it's been quite nice. I've just been lying here listening to it. But yeah, it's about six o'clock. I'm going to get up now and um, I'm going to get the fire lit so I can get some water on to boil for a hot drink, for a cup of tea, and uh, I'm going to start thinking about some breakfast. Let's see if I can wake Tom up. He's dead to the world still. Actually, Tom. It wasn't as good as it could have been. <laughs> Some honey, Tom? Yes, please, Dad. Runny honey, Tom? Dad a Rooney. Mm -hmm. So that's us all packed up and ready to go um, and uh, there's not a lot to tell that we've been here really there's a, a, a little earthy patch where our fire was and some flattened down nettles that's all um, yeah it's been a really nice one it's been very nice to spend some time with with my son Tom um, it's been a long time since we've done something like this together so it's been it's been lovely we've had some nice food and we've had a really nice relaxing time um, yeah so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.